and welcome to another video. Today is Friday the 14th of October 2016 and in tonight's video I'm going to look ahead and preview day 2 of the PDC Happy Bet German Darts Championships which is going to take place on Saturday the 15th of October. Now day 2 sees the second round action take place. We'll see the 16 seeded players enter on day 2 and they'll face the 16 winners from day 1. We're going to see 8 matches in an afternoon session and 8 matches in an evening session. This has got the second round of the best of 11 legs. So the afternoon session is going to take place between 12 and 4 UK time and the evening session is going to start at 6pm and run through to 10pm UK time. So we'll start the second round with Gerwin Price taking on Dave Pallet. Now Gerwin Price will come in as friend fresh as being the steed player. You don't know what you're going to get from Gerwin Price. One performance he's very very good, the next performance he's very very average. But interesting to see which Gerwin Price turns up. David Pallet in round one beat Brendan Doan by six legs to three with a 92.68 average. It was a decent performance by Dave Pallet because he had to deal with Brendan Doan trying to slow him down in the match and he did very very well to do that. This match will be completely different as we play at a decent pace and I think this will be a very interesting match. I think Dave with that match under the belt will be too strong for Gerwin Price in this match. I think David Pallet will win his second round by six legs to three again. The second match of the afternoon session sees Daryl Gurney take on Ron Mullenkamp. Now Daryl Gurney's been very, very good form recently. I expect him to continue this in this match. Now Ron Mullenkamp won his match by six legs to three over Marco Pulse with an 87.99 average. He got a flying start in this match and then Marco came back into the match but then he showed real character at the end of the match to win this match by six legs three. I think Daryl Gurney will be too strong for Ron in this match. I think Daryl's playing a level above Ron just now. I think Daryl Gurney will win this match by six legs to two despite having that wrist injury still. The next match sees Alan Norris take on Scott Taylor. Now Alan Norris is one of those players when he plays well he is very very good to watch. I was so unlucky in the World Grand Prix last week losing to Simon Whitlock because that was a great match. But he takes on Scott Taylor in this event. Now Scott Taylor won his first round match by six legs to three with a 90 average. He's getting better from his debut against Alan Tavern to this match. This is his first win on the European Tour. I think it's an interesting match. I don't think Scott will fall off his win with another one. And I think that Alan Norris will win this match by six legs to four. The next match sees Simon Whitlock take on Justin Pipe. And this should be a very, very interesting match because Simon's a player that's in form just now. He was showing terrific form in the World Grand Prix, only coming up short against the world number one, Michael Van Gerwen, the eventual winner. And he takes on Justin Pipe. Now, Justin Pipe looked focused and determined in his first round match against Mickey Mansell. He scraped by it by six legs to five. It's a real dogged performance by Justin Pipe. And he really rolled back the years for about five years to show the form of about 2011. He averaged 92.24 in his match. You'll be happy with that, especially the way he played on his own throw. It looked very, very hard to break him on his own throw in this match, and Mickey really did struggle with that, and that's why it came away 6-5 winner. So what do I think is going to happen in this match? Again, I think it's going to go 11 legged in this match. And of two crowd favourites in this match, it's very, very hard to split them. But I'm going for Simon Whitlock to win this match by six legs to five over Justin Pipe. The next match sees Stephen Bunton take on Steve West. Now, Stephen Bunton's been some decent form, but... The man on form just now is Steve West. He knocked out Phil Taylor in the World Grand Prix last week and he beat his brother 6-0 in the first round with a 109.98 average. His first nine dart average was phenomenal in this match. I'd be interested to see if he can back up this performance that he had against his brother in his second round match against Stephen Bunton. If he does, he will blow Stephen Bunton out of the water in this match. And I think this will be a very interesting match. I think Steve West will be near enough the same performance which he produced against his brother. I think Steve West will win this match by six legs to three over Stephen Bunton. The next match sees Terry Jenkins take on Andy Smith, the two best mates on tour. Now Terry Jenkins 
It's one of those players, if it's his day, he will win this match, but he has had a lot of off days recently. But he has had some decent success on the European Tour this year so far. And he takes on Andy Smith. Now, Andy Smith won his first round match against Stefan Stoiker by six legs to two. With a 92.25 average, it was a decent performance by Andy Smith to win that match against Stefan Stoiker. I think it's been an interesting clash because I think both be scared against each other because they'll both want to not put each other out because they'll both have sympathy for each other. I think that it's an interesting match. I think it'll be a very, very close match. I think it'll be a lower average match. And I think Terry Jenkins will beat Andy Smith by six legs to five. The next match sees Benito van der Pass take on Crystal Reyes. This is the penultimate game of the afternoon session. Now Benito van der Pass is the CD player in this match. And it just shows how far he's came in the last two years to be now a CD player on the European Tour. And he takes on Crystal Reyes. Now Crystal Reyes got past Mark Walsh in round one by six legs to five with a 96.24 average. It was doing higher than that, but he was very, very poor on his doubles in his round one match. It'd be interesting to see if he has to improve his doubles for the second round. He has to because he won't get that many chances against Benito van der Pass. I think it's a very, very interesting game. I think that this was an interesting match. I think again it will go very, very tight. I think it will go all 11 legs and I think Benito van der Pass will edge this match by 6 legs to 5 over Crystal Reyes. The last match of the afternoon session says Ian White take on Kevin Painter. Now Ian White is one of those deliberate players who does very, very well on the European Tour and I expect him to produce a very, very consistent performance against Kevin Painter. Now Kevin Painter in round 1 beat Jordi Maiwais by 6 legs to 3 with a 95.76 average. It was a very, very good performance by Kevin Painter and he looks very focused and determined this week. I think he could win another couple of matches in this competition. I think it's a very, very interesting match between these two, but I think Kevin Painter attacking the dartboard will be too much for Ian White in this match. I think Kevin Painter will win this match by six legs to four. The evening session starts with Dave Chisnell versus Peter Hudson. Now, Dave Chisnell is one of those players that's been in good form in the last six, seven months, and he takes on Peter Hudson. Now, Peter Hudson has been shown some decent form on the Pro Tour and he won his round one match against Vincent van der Voort by six legs to five with an 89.22 average. He can produce better stats than that and he'll have to do so against Dave Chisnell if he's compete with him. So what do I think is going to happen in this match? I think that Dave Chisnell's scoring power will be too much for Peter Hudson in this match. I think Dave Chisnell won this match by six legs to two over Peter Hudson. The second match, the evening session, is Michael Smith take on Mark Webster. Now Michael Smith has not been in great form this year but the European Tour does have a good place for him in the back of his mind and hopefully want to show that he can replicate the form of last couple of years on the European Tour. And he takes on Mark Webster. Now Mark Webster is very very impressive in his round one performance beating Mervyn King by six legs to two with a 99.48 average. He want to produce that performance again against Michael Smith. I think it's a very interesting match between these two. It's all going to be on the night because both are very very capable of beating each other but I think Mark Webster with that game under his belt will beat Michael Smith in this match by by six legs to four. The next match sees Joe Cullen take on Robert Allenstein. Now, Joe Cullen's been in some very, very good form since the UK Open in March, and he'll be hoping to carry on in this European Tour event this weekend. And he takes on the German Robert Allenstein, who beat Steve Hine by six legs to five with an 85.93 average. Now, He'll have to up that performance if he's to compete with Joe Cullen, who's competing at that 95 to 100 average mark just now. I think Joe Cullen will be too strong for Robert in this match and I think Joe Cullen will win this match quite convincingly by six legs to two. The next match sees Mensor Soljevic take on Darren Johnson and Mensor Soljevic has just came a little bit off the boil in the last couple of events but he's still in top, top form. And he takes on Darren Johnson. Now, Darren Johnson in round one won his first ever match on the European Tour, beating Yenos Vegas by six legs to one with an 85.58 average. It's a lot better performance than the average suggests. He had the right score at the right time and really did put Yanos under pressure. And Yanos couldn't live up to that pressure. 
you'll have to up his game against Mensor Sojevic because Mensor Sojevic has averaged it about 100 in recent times. I think it's a very interesting match. I think Mensor Sojevic will be too strong for Darren Johnson in this match. I think Mensor Sojevic will win this match by six legs to three. The next match sees Yella Klassen take on Roby John Rodriguez. Now, Yella Klassen has been taking some very, very good performances to beat him in recent times. And he takes on Roby John Rodriguez, who was very, very impressive in his round one match against Kyle Anderson, which he won by six legs to two with a 100.4 average. It was great to see someone so young average over the 100 mark in Roby John Rodriguez. I think it's a very interesting match in these two, because I think he'll try and slow Yella Klassen down in this match. I don't think it will work however, I think Yellow Class will win this match by 6 legs to 3 over Roby John Rodriguez. The next match sees Peter Wright take on Eddie Dudson. Now Peter has just slightly dipped off form. He has to find a set of darts that he's used to again because this chopping and changing just isn't working for him in my opinion. And he takes on Eddie Dudson. Now Eddie beat Mike Hulse by 6 legs to 3 with the lowest average on day 1 with a 77.73 average. He'll have to improve that by 15 to 20 points if he's to compete with Peter Wright because if Peter Wright plays the way everyone knows he can, he'll average about that 100 mark be very very hard to beat in this match. I think Peter Wright will beat Eddie by six legs to four in this match. The next match in the penultimate game of the evening sessions is Michael Van Gerwen take on Robbie Green. Now Michael Van Gerwen is in terrific form. He won the Borough Grand Prix last weekend and he takes on Robbie Green this weekend in the second round. The Robbie Green puts a decent performance against Christian Kiss beating him by six legs to two with a 99.4 average. Just carrying on the form that he's had in recent times in both the Players' Championships events and the European Tour but it's a very hard task for him to come up against the world number one because Robbie Green has to win this match if he's to qualify for the European Championships. I think that it will come up short in this match. I think Michael Van Gen will win this match by six legs to one over Robbie Green. The next match and the last match of the evening session sees Kim Hybrids take on Ted Avets. Now Kim Hybrids is a player on decent form. He's been very aggressive in recent times, really showing off when he's been hitting one forties and two trebles on a visit, really showing that aggression which got him back into the Premier League a couple of years ago. It'd be interesting to see if he has that aggression on this European Tour event against Ted Everts. Now, Ted Everts is a young player who produced a very good performance on round one, beating Chris Dobie by six legs to two with an 88.97 average. The reason why I say it was a good performance was it was the first time he'd ever competed on the European Tour before, and it was great to see him get a debut victory on the European Tour over Chris Dobie. Chris Dobie is no pushover. He is a very competitive player and for Ted Davis to win that game he'll be very very pleased to get through to the second day of this European Tour event. I think Kim Hybrids will have a little bit too much experience for him and just that all round game for Ted Everts in this match. I think Kim Hybrids will win this match by six legs to two over Ted Everts. So with that, that's the end of this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up on the video. If you want to leave any feedback in this video, you can do so via the comment section below or by my Twitter, which will also be in the description below. And until tomorrow when I preview another video, I will see you then. Goodbye.